Hello everyone, I'm Jason with the JOIN program here at Timescale. Today we're going to talk about part one of a four-part series on what hypertables are. So what are hypertables? Hypertables are a regular Postgres table that is partitioned by time and broken up into smaller child tables or chunks. What that allows you to do is be performant with queries and writes because now you are working with a smaller data set compared to your larger Postgres table data sets. This offers configurable time intervals for your data partitioning, which allows you to adjust based on your use case and data volume. The default for time partitioning is seven days, but it can be set to other things as well. Hypertables are most ideal for time series data, and typically those live beside regular Postgres tables that can be used for referential or metadata if wanted. So again, this utilizes standard Postgres tables and a chunk is just a regular Postgres table. It's partitioned by time intervals. You can also add a range or space dimension, but we don't typically use those in most use cases, although we have and they do have benefits in some circumstances. There's a primary key that includes the dimension columns that ensures uniqueness across partitions, supports foreign keys from a hyper table to a regular table, and also recently foreign key references from regular tables to hyper tables. Also, as mentioned previously, it allows you to adjust the chunk time intervals for new chunks as your data ingest rate increases or decreases. And we'll talk more about this uh, called the 25% rule in our best practices in part three, but I wanted to mention it here as well. So that's it for part one. We'll see you in part two. Thank you.